Customizing your WooCommerce shop page can offer several benefits, enhancing both the user experience and the overall branding of your online store. Now, using the Astra theme offers several advantages. Astra is a highly versatile theme. It is also a feature-rich WordPress theme. Thus, in this video, we will be showing you how to customize WooCommerce shop page using Astra theme. First, ensure that your WooCommerce plugin is installed and set up successfully. Next, let's install the Astra theme. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, Appearance, Themes. Now here, click on Add New. Next on the search bar, search Astra. Once the theme appears, click on Install. And once it is installed, click on Activate. Next, let's see how to customize the shop page in this theme. So to do that, go to WordPress dashboard, Appearance, Customize. Now from the left column here, click on WooCommerce. Now go to Product Catalog. Now here first we'll have to choose a container layout for the shop page. Now here in the container layout, you'll get two options. One is normal and the other one is full width. So you can select either of these. Here, let me select normal. And then in the container style, you get two other options. One is unboxed and the other one is boxed. Now I'll choose boxed here as it best suits my store requirement. You can choose it accordingly. Next, let's choose the sidebar layout. Now here you'll get three options. You can either choose to keep no sidebar or choose to have a left sidebar or a right sidebar. Now choose it according to your store needs. I'll choose the right sidebar. Next here we have the shop layout. Now in the shop layout, we get two shop cart designs. Let's first make the other customizations and then we will take a look at how these two shop cart designs differ. So here we have shop columns, which shows how many product columns we want in our shop page. Here you can see that there are four columns already selected. Now if we decrease it to three, then this is how it looks with three products in each row. And if we change it to two, then this is how it looks. However, the ideal number of columns for me is three. So let me make it three. Once that's done, now here in the products per page, we need to select the number of products we want in each page. Now I'll keep it 15. Now since we had selected three columns and now we have selected 15 products per page, then you can see that the total number of product rows here are five. Similarly, you can change the number of products per page from here and increase or decrease the number of product rows accordingly. However, I'll keep it 15. Next from here, you can set the shop's content width. You can keep it at default or click on the custom button here and from the button here, drag it to left or right accordingly to increase or decrease the content width. Now you can also use this box to enter your custom content width. I'll keep it at 1100. You can choose it according to your store requirement. Next, let's take a look at the shop page display settings option and its uses. In this option, you will get three options, shop page display, category display and default product sorting. Now the first one is shop page display. Here in the drop down, you'll get three options. Show product option that will show only products on the shop page. Next, you have the show categories option that will allow you to display only categories on your shop page. And then you have the option show products and categories, which will let you display both products and categories on your shop page. Here I'll select show products and categories options as I feel that this is one of the best options out here. The next setting is category display. Now, if we click this settings, we will get three options. Show products, subcategories, or both products and subcategories. Here I'll select products. So if someone navigates to the category folder from the shop page, they will find all the products in that particular category displayed here. Now that makes it very simple for the visitors. However, you can also select subcategories or select both subcategories and products option depending on your store requirement. Once that's done, here in this particular option, you can select the default sorting of your products on the shop page to be sorted. You can keep it default, which is custom ordering and name, or change it to popularity, average rating, or sorted by most recent, or by ascending or descending price of the products. Now here, I'll select popularity. 
Once that's done, next is the shop card structure where you can select what information you want to be displayed on each product. Now here you can click on the eye icon here and enable or disable that particular card or information that is to be displayed. Like here let me disable the category and short description as that is not required for my shop page. However, I have kept the cards like title, rating, price and add to cart button enabled. Now all is done. Let's go back to the shop card design option. Here we have two designs. The first one is already selected. Now if we select the second design, here in the preview you can see that the add to cart button is added on the top right corner of each product. Now all the major customizations are done. Now there is a small customization that can be done in the design. For that go to design tab here on top. Now here you can see that you can select the alignment of the content on your shop page. You can make it left aligned, center aligned or right aligned. Now I'll keep it center aligned as that looks better for my shop page. You can also get plenty of more customization options in design as well as general if you switch to Astra Pro like you can see here. Once all the customizations are done, simply click on publish. And now if we go to the front end, then this is how a shop page would look like in Astra theme with all the customizations successfully done. And that's all. This is how you can customize your shop page using Astra theme. Check learnvoo.com for more videos, articles and resources related to WooCommerce and WordPress. And if you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.